Fala galera do Mundo das Lutas, tudo bem com vocês? Algumas horas depois do UFC 257, estou aqui gravando esse vídeo para vocês, porque eu vou mostrar o que Conor McGregor falou na coletiva de imprensa. Eu tive a chance de fazer algumas perguntas para o Conor. Conor falou aí sobre a derrota contra Dustin Poirier, o quanto os chutes baixos do Poirier influenciaram na derrota, falou um pouco sobre o futuro, né? deixou em aberto aí o que pode ser, mas deixou no ar que ele vai voltar, não está pensando em aposentadoria, então não vou nem enrolar, mas vamos ao que interessa, Conor McGregor aqui no canal Encarada, se liga só. E depois do que hoje com o Michael Chandler, eu não sei se você teve a oportunidade de assistir os knockouts. Eu fiz, sim, foi um bom knockout. Fair play para ele vir agora, isso foi um bom fight. Então eu disse que provavelmente esse vai ser o próximo título de fight. Quem você escolhe? Chandler or, or poor here? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's I don't know. You know, don't don't just write me off yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll make me adjustments and and keep moving. So anything can happen in in this game, and I'll go back. I'll get healthy, and I'll and I'll re-prepare. I've built a, an incredible. You know, I've I've got to an, I've got to a great place in me in me body physically, and. I'm going to continue to grow on that, you know what I mean? I'll get the swelling down in the leg and I'll get back to my training and my cardiovascular work, my strength work, my skills work, and just keep living the martial arts life. Oh, Connor, clearly, uh, I'm sure frustrated with the result, not what you're hoping for, but uh, what are the emotions like for you right now? Yeah, it's heartbreaking, John. You know, it's hard to take. Um, let me just move in. The highest highs and the lowest lows in this game. My leg is completely dead, and even though I felt like I was checking them, it was just sinking into the front, of, the muscle at the front of the leg, and it was badly compromised. And it's like an American football in my, in my suit at the minute. So, you know, it is what it is. Dustin fought a hell of a fight, engaged in the takedown attempt. I thought I'd done well, I got up, torn them. I was in my head thinking in that second round, getting just tie up now. I felt all right in the clinch room, I was better than him in the clinch. Um, but too little, too late. The leg was compromised, and I didn't adjust. To, and and that's it. Fair play to Dustin. Very happy for him. Very happy that I got to compete in this in these times and and come back my 11th UFC main event. And that's it. It's hard. You know, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at at the minute. To be honest. Look, I was going to tough it out. Do you know what I mean? I toughed it out as much as I could, but. Um, It was an unusual one, that's for sure, where I would feel okay in, a sp in sparring or something, checking that side. I felt like me le I lifted the leg up multiple times, but it just sunk into the muscle at the front of the, at the front, and it just it was badly compromised. And then Dustin had good solid defense as well. So when I was pressing forward with the shots, they were you know he was defending well. It is what it is. He fought a hell of a fight, and that's it. What can you do? I'm happy for him. It's the whole shebang. Do you know what I mean? But. Uh, I have no excuses here. It was a phenomenal performance by Dustin. Um, and that's it, you know. Oh, I don't know what, what, what to say. I'm going to go back, I'm going to chill out, and just gonna, I'll, I'll watch the full fight and get a better grasp on it. But the leg was compromised, and I was rushing the shots a little bit, and, you know, I didn't adjust. And that's, that's that, you know, it's a, it's a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. And... I don't even know whether I'm that upset. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. You know. Yeah. You know. I'll, I'll certainly regroup. I'll regroup and pick myself up. You know what I mean. Get get up off the floor and go again. And that's it. Styles make fights. There's many great stylistic matchups out there. I meet myself and Dustin are one and one. Myself and Nate are one and one. You know. There's many good matchups for me, and I'll adopt a different approach for 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 the trilogy. I feel with Dustin because you know. That, 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 those leg kicks are not to be messed with, you know what I mean? That calf kick, the low calf kick, I've never experienced that, and it just, it was a good one, so it's not that I haven't got the style in, in me to, to, to switch it up and keep that, keep that at bay, and I have a lot more weapons. I didn't get the show. It wasn't my night. It wasn't a great night, but again, no excuses, hats off, and, you know, regroup and pick myself up. I look forward to going back now, seeing the kids, and just... Just taking the licks, man. It's a bastard of a game. But it is what it is. I, 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 there's not a mark on my face. I wasn't rattled with anything. It's just I had, I had no leg. And fair fucking play to him. He fought well. And yeah, I look forward to watching the back. It was an accumulating, accumulated for sure. I knew when I seen he had Thiago Alves in the corners like these. You know, I knew what was coming. 
I knew they were going to try and kick the. I knew he likes to kick the low kick. He's also experienced that low that kick before himself, uh, taking it. So that's my first time to experience that. So, um, but one of them sunk in early, and Thiago said that was a good one. And I was in my head thinking, "Yeah, boss, it was a good one." And then it just started accumulating up, and but you know, fuck it, it is what it is, man. I'm not that. I'm not that upset over it, which is another weird one for me. You know what I mean?